Now, the most of works, David Amai has revealed that the federal government will prioritize the completion of four key road projects per geopolitical zone in 2025, rather than launching new initiatives. This decision is in response to economic challenges such as inflation, the floating of the Naira, and the removal of fuel subsidies, all of which have significantly increased infrastructural costs. Omai explained that the Tinubu led administration inherited 2,600 road projects valued at 13 trillion naira, highlighting the need to streamline resources and focus on finishing these ongoing projects. He further elaborated that the Highway Development and Management Initiative, HDMI, has been crucial in mobilizing the private sector to participate in Nigeria's road infrastructure development. Under this initiative, 63 roads have already been engaged with private companies financing and constructing the roads, which will then be towed for cost recovery. The minister noted that the Cathy Makodi Road is fully completed but has not yet been opened for tolling, as the government is working to implement a paperless, cashless tolling system. Now, this modern approach aims to ensure seamless transactions and minimize disruptions for road users. Omai also confirmed that several other key road projects, including the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, Makori to Ninth Mile Road and the Abuja to Kano Road, will be towed upon completion to ensure proper maintenance and sustainability through the revenue generated. Now, earlier, Nigerian Youth Parliament member Abu Mumin Ebidi joined us to analyze works done by the ministry in the last one year. Okay. Let's talk about um, infrastructure now, specifically works, because most Nigerians would want to measure uh, the, uh, the president based on the, the amount of uh, the kilometers of roads done, the reconstruction, and uh, over time, uh, there's been talk about uh, works and uh, 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 works. Um, 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 ministry, which has been handled by the former uh, Ebony State Governor David Omai. In your opinion, how far would you say uh, uh, he has done so far in terms of work done so far? And can you highlight any achievement, if possible? Okay, so the thing about the um, infrastructure development in the country, I'll speak as a professional in that sector. Um, you know, the previous administration did start a lot of things um, in terms of the Lagos Ibadan. Expressway and the second Niger Bridge. If you listen to Engineer Dave Mai himself, His Excellency, he already said that um, they are not going to be starting any new projects. They are just going to be continuing the projects that were inherited, which is a good step in the right direction. Um, but when it comes to infrastructure, funding is, is a major issue. And I think the former Minister of Works and now seen um, His Excellency about to make um, he did leave a very important and strategic roadmap in that sector. And it's good to see that the current minister is following suit. Um, I think the only difference is because we used to have works and housing. Now we have just works. Yes. So it streamlined the job of the minister. And then um, I know that in a few months' time, we will definitely see these developments come to light. So how, well, how would you rate his scorecard? Uh, you, know, you talked about uh, he uh, doing um, uh, more based on what um, the, the predecessor has done. And in, in terms of um, bridges, uh, you know, right now all eyes are on the Lagos and um, Calabar Coastal I mean, Highway. Uh, judging by all that has happened in recent times, you really think that uh, we'll see more construction of roads and bridges uh, you know, or development of the, of the ones that are on stream going on right now? Yeah, I think um, the Prime Minister is doing very well, being a professional and engineer himself, he's doing very well. Um, in fact, there are a lot of projects happen happening at the same time. The Lagos Calabar Highway, the Abuja Sokoto Highway, the Lagos um, Bada the Badagri, Lagos Badagri Sokoto Highway, and all of those things. And it's impressive to see the level of work that is being done at the moment. I mean, because these roads are new roads, you might not necessarily see what is going on because they are not happening. They are not rehabilitation roads. You know, they are not being rehabilitated. They are fresh construction, and so we might not really see what is going on. But from the reports that we have, I think a lot is being done, and at the fast rate at that. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.